I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, it was fascinating to listen to the speakers, and I must say that it gave us a lot of hope for the future, particularly at a time when the world is facing a lot of turbulence and trouble. But having said that, I was also in the last few minutes going through the declaration of the 12th of November 1997. And I was going through particularly the recitals, being mindful, considering, concerned, conscious, stressing, asserting, recalling, determined, resolved, recognizing and bearing in mind that the fate of future generations depends to a great extent on decisions and actions taken today and that present day problems, including poverty, technological and material underdevelopment, unemployment, exclusion, discrimination, and threats to environment must be solved in the interests of both present and future generations. And finally, it says, convinced that there is a moral obligation to formulate behavior guidelines for the present generations within a broad future-oriented perspective. They solemnly proclaimed on that day that the declaration on the responsibilities of the present generation towards future generations. And that was the, the background to which uh, this discussion perhaps was uh, the aftermath. Uh, Madam Chair, my question is, isn't it an indictment on all of us that since 1997 to today that we have to reopen the issues again as fresh wounds, so to speak? What have we then done? As far as my generation is concerned, I probably would say mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa and perhaps take the responsibility for the mess that we have created for the future generations, contrary to the intergenerational trust that we have been bestowed with by our past generations. Madam Chair, isn't it the case that we need to work on this intergenerational trust between my generation and the future generation. After all, remember that I was part of the youth of yesterday. And the youth of today will be part of the adults of tomorrow. We need each other. We have to love each other. We can't do without each other. I think that's important perhaps to appreciate. The youth of tomorrow and today need, perhaps, if we have it, our wisdom, our experience, our resources. We need the youth of today and tomorrow for its energy, for our future, for our own protection of this generation. So, my dear friends, my appeal to you and perhaps to the generation of today and for the future is that we bind together in this common endeavor that we will keep these generations going. Otherwise, 10 years from today, this declaration pro forma, word to word, would be worked on again. We cannot wait for that. Time is running out, and I think it will be a pity if we have to discuss this once more again in the same manner that we did in 1997. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Pierres, for your impassioned plea for intergenerational solidarity and the urgency of the moments that we're in now.